Okay, so this is how we're going to go through the steps of mounting the AC disconnect. It says to measure and mark 8 inches to the left of the top corner of the main service panel. So what you do is you press down on your tape measure tool. I'm just pressing down on it and dragging it. And I drag it across and measure out until I get 8 inches uh, separation. And then I let go and it draws a mark for me. Okay, that's my first step. Then I want to place the AC disconnect the wall. I find it down here on the ground. I click on the object and it mounts it up against the wall for me. Then what I need to do is click on the object itself to make it level. Then I'm going to open up the disconnect cover. I'm just going to click on that. opens it up for me. Now I get to work inside. I'm going to use a pencil tool to mark the holes. So I click on my wrench tool here and that creates a pencil for me. See? And then I'm going to take the pencil to the each hole. doesn't matter the order. I'm going to mark my holes with my pencil tool. I've done that step. I put away the tool. Then I pull the AC disconnect away from the wall, so I'm just going to click on it. Boop! Okay, now I've taken it away. <laughs> now I'm going to drill the holes in the marked location. So I click on my wrench tool and that brings out my drill tool. And I'm going to actually tap on each one of the, the locations and that gives me my three drills. And what it does is it brings up my uh, anchors. So I click on Next. Now I'm going to insert the wall anchors into the holes you drill. Because we're drilling into brick, we're using wall anchors. So in any order, I come down here and I click on my wall anchors. Each one, I click on it, and they go into, you put those in by hand, you put those into the holes. Then I'm going to realign the AC disconnect with those marking holes. So I'm going to click on the box, bring it back up so that it gets lined up with the holes that I made and the anchors that I put in. Now I've got my three anchor bolts. So I screw the bolts into the wall, basically clicking on each one. doesn't matter the order. I click on each one and it puts them into those holes. Then I'm going to drill a hole in the back of the AC disconnect. Uh, using my wrench tool here, I'm going to bring out a drill. And the idea is I'm going to come down here and drill a hole where I want to mount my own uh, ground bar. And I'm going to click on the tool to put it away. Go to Next. Place the ground bar into alignment with the hole. Okay, so there's this center hole in the ground bar where my bonding screw is going to go. So I'm going to click, press down. Shows me where to go. I'm going to just move it around. See, I'm just moving the ground bar around. I move it until I get it lined up with that hole. And then my bonding uh, screw shows up here. I move out a little bit just to take a look at it. So I click on Next. And so now it says insert the bonding screw through the grounding bar. And so I'm going to just click on it. And it puts in the bonding uh, screw that bonds the ground bar to the AC disconnect. And then I'm going to click on the cover up here. I'm going to click on the cover to close it to be safe. And that's it. You've successfully mounted the AC disconnect switch. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left, or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.